What's up, everybody? Maria Martin, 11 Alive, here with my good friend, Alex Benson from Born to Compute. So good to see you. Homie, it's been a minute. It's been forever, and it's, yeah. it feels like it's been forever since the high school football season ended, but what yeah. a wild year it was. A great year. Great teams out there, great action. I think we had the best single season ever by a football team with Langston Hughes and yeah. what they did. And then the freshmen, one of our guys, Julian Lewis, Juju, uh, the best freshman season ever. I don't care what nobody says. The best freshman season, season ever, not in the state of Georgia, not in the southeast, but in the absolute in the country. It's been such a wild one, and you you mentioned a couple of kids, but for yeah. Born to Compete, you guys were everywhere all the time. Yes. So many kids doing great things. What's your opinion on how the year went for you guys? For us, great. For us, it, it was a, a magical year. We got to see those teams that played in our stuff when they were young, like Mill Creek, for example, and yeah. Renaissance, who ended up being Langston Hughes, and to see them become the two dominant teams. And then we go back to this class of 2026. We've been telling everybody this team is, or this uh, group is special. Julian Lewis, Tyler Atkinson, Deuce Gerald, the names go on and on. So it was a good year. It was a good year to see uh, everything we worked for and those young men, what they worked for, parents, players, coaches, uh, for it to pay off for them. I was in the studio all season long, and I can tell you every single board to compete package that we got, yeah. these kids were just lighting it up. They were yeah. incredible, and it's good to yeah. see what you guys have been doing. And recently, you crossed a big milestone yeah. for your company. Tell me about it. Well, it, look, so. For us to grow, it had to be community-based. Because when we first started, we didn't have a dime. Yeah. Right? I'm talking about just great personality, a winning smile, and a camera. And for those that <laughs> you know, are seeing this right now, they're thinking back in the day, uh, that's all we had. You know? and, and, of course, you guys took a chance on us years and years ago with Jenna Herb, uh, brought us on in, into the doors, and we were able to accomplish some you know, pretty significant things. And so this year, we were able to go over the $325,000 mark wow. for money that we donated and generated to youth football programs, teams, and just people associated with, I should say teams and organizations associated with youth football. So it's been good for us. It's been good for us from what we do with the Autism Bowl, uh, what we do with families with autism, battle by autism, giving money back to them, uh, teams in general, shoulder pads, scoreboard, whatever they need. And, uh, of course, you know, you just have uh, different ways we generate money for them through our championship series. It's only going to get bigger and better, right? Always. Of course. Always. Say and less. Speaking <laughs> of bigger and better, <coughs> deuce yeah. recruiting is something that I think a lot of people need to start to get to know because wow, that's going to be a new thing for you. Tell us about here deuce we recruiting. Go. Man, well, first off, we've been doing this for a long time, right? So every year, and you know, the guy Rick always knows about it. I always tell him about it. That's, yeah, that's yeah. our guy. Uh, <laughs> we do our recruiting trips, college trips. And so we put kids on a bus. And we hit different colleges across the country. Yeah. And what we're trying to do is just to kind of get them exposed to it early. All your favorite players have been on it, whether it's Trayvon, Trayvon Walker, Trevor Lawrence, Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, all of them been on it. And that's what we've been able to do. It's kind of like our way of saying, hey, you're good. Let's go ahead and get you involved. Uh, but with Deuce Recruiting, now we can kind of finally really step, you know, ten toes into this recruiting game, as they say. Hmm. And uh, for us, you have – three major companies out there. They do a fantastic job and they cover a lot of kids. And for us, we want to obviously get in that space as well and be able to do the same thing. And you know, there are only so many ways you can spin a football, as we always say. But I think uh, with the relationships that we have, how we obviously care for the players in just a little bit of a different way, because it means a little bit more to us. Uh, we're able to evaluate and do things a little bit different. Uh, one of our great hires that we just hired, Coach Downs, he'll be over uh, national recruiting. Uh, it doesn't get no better. Coach Gary Downs, coached at East Tennessee State, played with the Falcons here locally, uh, was a legend at North Carolina, North Carolina State running back. His children, <laughs> Caleb and Josh, obviously are the real deal. Caleb's going to Alabama. Josh is probably a third round pick or better in the yeah. draft. So you're asking, we're putting somebody in place that not only knows the business side of recruiting, but also knows what it's like as a parent to sit there and watch your child go through it. I don't think there's some good people out there, but as far as who we put in place, I don't think nobody's resume matches up. He's the real deal, and, and we're going to hit that recruiting scene very hard. I love that. I can tell that you're really <clears throat> passionate about recruiting, so yes. I want to ask you why it means so much to you, why the recruiting aspect of football means so much to you. Yeah, man, as a former player, I've been there. Yeah. You know, I, I was a high school player going to college and was fortunate enough to play college football and had some good days, bad days. My days are over, right? But at the end of the day, we start with these kids when they're six years old, five for some of them. And let's go to Caleb Downs to, for Caleb to come up here. We, did, we used to do our awards up here to win the six-year-old player of the year. <clears throat> and now he's the state player, the number one player in the state. And to see those guys grow and, and to be able to help them achieve their dreams, 
means the world to me, right? And we can talk about the five stars, four stars all day, right? <clears throat> but it's those two and three stars that you want to push even more and get those out there. So, yes, are we going to do the rankings and everything? Of course we will. That's going to be there. That's the standard stuff in, in our industry. But also the other side of that where we can try to step in, you know, help kids along the way. And really all I'm doing is just opening up for more people. So things have been doing for years, 15 years now. Yeah, and there's plenty of two and three stars out there that make plenty. pretty nice careers for themselves plenty. as well. Plenty, plenty, and, and everything that we're going to have coming with Deuce Recruiting, whether it's with Coach Downs, whether it's the way we do our rankings. And all rankings are fair. Yeah. I'm not going to say they're biased or anything <laughs> like that. I'm not going to talk about any other companies by no means. I just say what we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, our rankings are going to be uh, pretty legit as we've been identifying players at a young age all the way through. And the other side of that, what we'll be able to do again to try to help those out that need it. One of the things coming up for you, uh, you have so many things going on, but the Thank Born you. to Compete Gala. Yeah. Tell me about it. What's yeah. exciting about it this uh, year? First off, I want you there, Maria. I could be there, I hope, maybe. Yes, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we're going to find out. We're going to find out who's doing what. Yeah. I don't know if it's Rick, Megan. Let me get it. I'll take camera too. That'll bother me. <laughs> Rick, Megan, Reg. Reg's going to be getting a haircut, so he'll be busy. <laughs> he will uh, be getting a haircut <laughs> for sure. But what we want to do is, uh, like, every year we – acknowledge the top players around the state of Georgia for the younger age groups. And it's been amazing because we've had some of the top coaches come through, whether it's Coach Kirby, Jeff when he was, you know, formerly at Georgia Tech, yeah. Coach Chaney, uh, Grady Jarrett was a speaker last year. So we've had so many players and top coaches come through and speak with the guys, and that lets us know that, hey, we're identifying the right people and we're doing it the right way. So not eat, like everybody can identify talent. but. When you're doing it the right way and, and celebrating the right way, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Last year we had about 1,300 people at the uh, College Football Hall of Fame. Beautiful moment. Luckily, College Football Hall of Fame didn't kick us out because you know, I told them, I was like, look, we're going to pack it. They didn't believe me, but we did in the College Football Hall of Fame. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but this year, I'm so excited. We're going to be at the Georgia Aquarium. So cool. Oh, man. Oh, like, I'm there. Yeah. Set Aquarium. There you can see, there. see, see, see that ocean ballroom. So the, cool. the the view with the fish swimming, doing their thing. Doesn't get and better, right? I can't think of a better venue. It's gonna be great. And going there, seeing everybody dressed up, looking good, looking fantastic for a night where we are celebrating these kids all over the state of Georgia from sixth through, through eighth grade. Uh, that you know, for some kids, this puts that stamp on them yeah. as they move forward. And for other kids, like the babies, you know, the five U through, we'll just say eight U, nine U, ten U, it puts a spark in them and saying, you know, hey, I am being celebrated for my accomplishments. And if I work hard, because everybody knows how the way B2C does, does it, we don't give out participation trophies. Not doing that. Not, not doing it. <laughs> so what well, we will identify you and recognize you and celebrate you for accomplishing and being at the top of the ladder. So that's what we do, and hopefully put that spark in them to move forward. I think that's a great thing, especially because it's at the Georgia Aquarium. I'm right, so man, excited about that. Man, I'm so ready. <laughs> I I'm, I'm so excited. What else you got going on? Anything else you want to add? Oh, uh, man, you know what? We got basketball coming up. Yep. January 3rd, we're back here with uh, NBC 11 Alive, Team 1-1, one, one, yep. Born to Compete, number one segment in the country. <laughs> and, of course, we got Rhea and, and, and Reg and Rick behind the camera and Meg always waving in the control room. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, I, I, think, <laughs> uh, I think it was great because I think what we did this year uh, was better than any other year. And when I really, really look at it, me and Rick always talk about it, the signings we did with the commitment day, oh, yeah. uh, the interviews we had with the top players, and these are things we've always done, but we just did it a lot more. And even with the broadcasting of the games for the game of the week, uh, I think it was a great year, a banner year, and I think it showed that not only do we have the best content here at 11 Live with Born to Compete, uh, we also show that we care with the community and that uh, we're here. We're here for the players, here for the parents. That's a big thing in high school football for sure, and it's yes. one of my favorite things every single year. I was sad when Team One One was over, but yeah. we're gonna get it back here before yeah. we know it. Actually. Here we go, man. Here we go, man. Basketball season. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm I'm ready. ready. I know they're playing right now, but I'm ready. Here we come. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> for everything you have in store. Thank you, Benson. Thank you. So great to see you. Appreciate you.